I'm going to turn aspirin I got from aspirin tablets into salicylic acid with acid hydrolysis. I will boil the aspirin in water with hydrochloric acid. First, a bunch of aspirin is added into a round-bottomed flask. I have too much aspirin to do it all at once, so I'll do it in multiple batches. Some concentrated hydrochloric acid is added, and then water is added to fill up the flask, and then the heating is turned on. When the water is boiling, the solution clears up as the aspirin dissolves. What's happening here is an acid-catalyzed ester hydrolysis. The uh, aspirin, or acetyl salicylic acid on the left, is broken down by water in the presence of an acid into salicylic acid and acetic acid. After about 30 minutes of boiling, I turn off the heat to let the flask cool down. As it cools, a bunch of salicylic acid crystallizes out of the solution. I start working on another batch of aspirin as it starts crystallizing. Once again, the solution gets clear after it boils for a bit. I also had to do a third batch, but I'm not going to show it here. After filtering and drying, I'm left with a bunch of white fluffy crystals. This should be reasonably pure salicylic acid. Since I started with about 130 grams of aspirin, the theoretical yield is 100 grams of salicylic acid. The product weighs 94 grams, which is a yield of 94%. This is actually quite good. However, this could be higher than the actual yield because the product could still be wet or there could be still some unhydrolyzed aspirin in it. 